Now this print we've actually produced. Now one thing to remember, we've just used what's called uh, a generic profile. Uh, now a generic profile has been created by the Leighton Laboratories as an average of all of the various Epson 2880 printers in this case uh, that there is out there. Now the, the Epson and Canon printers are, cre are, are manufactured in, ma in, a, in a very large quantities and with the best will in the world, these printers, they're not identical one to another. When we put a professional ink set into one of these printers, you do get uh, a, a slight variation of colour and density and characteristic curve, uh, um, uh, uh, the, the actual curve characteristic in the various channels. You see it with the, with the brand inks and you also see it with the license inks. So with the best will in the world, the generic profile that we that we provide for you get, gets you very much in the ballpark. So we've got a we've got our print here, which we've produced earlier, because we don't want to wait forever for a for a printer. Uh, it, it, they're, they're pretty quick, but about a just over a minute for an A4, which is which is very very quick. And of course, I have to say, with the license inks, you're getting your you're getting your printing done at one fifth of the price. So you're getting your cake and eating it too. So this is the print we've just produced, which is the, which is the, uh, which is the print from a generic uh, 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 profile. And then we compare, we compare it to the, to, the, to the standard print that we've had posted to us. And incidentally, it's a good idea to mark up your calibration print, put a little, uh, a mark down the bottom there to actually show that it's a, a calibration print and we'll see that in both cases in both cases we've got a very good we, we, we've got a very good um, we got a, a very good black we've got a good rich black so you see the logo there you get a lovely good rich black we get extremely good uh, smooth gradation so at the top there, let's bring it down. You've got an extremely smooth gradation going from the good rich black up to the very good white of the paper. One of the things about the Lyson paper is you get a, a very good clean white. There's a lot of brand papers out there that don't give you a clean white. They give you a bit of a creamy base, which is all right for a lot of work. But when you're dealing with, let's say, uh, wedding dresses, for instance, you want to you want to get a really good white. Uh, I have to say the Lyson Pro Gloss and Pro Satin is amongst the best that is out there. So you're getting a, a really good black, uh, a, a good gradation. It lifts off from its from its very very strong black. It lifts off beautifully. Now the payoff there is that you're going to get a very good tonality in your monochrome. We're also looking for the neutrality of our scale so we, we get a nice smooth gradation here now usually printer manufacturers don't like you seeing a smooth gradation but you see how smooth we're able to get it we're getting good clean we're getting good clean uh, primary colors the yellows are particularly clean very very important to render a good clean yellow because when we're then rendering a a, a, a a pale flesh tone we get a nice clean flesh tone with good definition we don't necessarily end up with a muddy uh, uh, flesh tone uh, we don't get a, um, um, uh, 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 we uh, in our blacks for instance we end up with a, a well-defined black not a milky black or a uh, or a muddy black we're, we're looking for well-defined color now we don't want to exaggerate colour, but we don't want to understate colour either. Now, when you uh, when you've completed your 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 printing, if you find you don't get a good match between your your.